Good morning, and thank you for coming. On behalf of the Kidney Cancer Association, you know, just really appreciate all the effort that's gone into organizing this um, wonderful event, and you know, it's a really important regional conference for us to support and to, to be able to put on every year. Um, just to give you a, a little bit of context on my involvement with the Kidney Cancer Association, I started working with them a little bit over five years ago doing projects and, and helping them with their organizational structure. Um, and I have since been put a, become a board member, and so I'm a board member um, for about three years now. And I've um, really, really loved being part of the Kidney Cancer Association and, and being able to attend events like this and, and be engaged in such an important, um, such an important program. So just to give you a little bit of context on the Kidney Cancer Association and a little bit of history, it's, this is actually the 25th year of its existence. Um, the Kidney Cancer Association has three goals. Um, patient research and, and, and education, advocacy for those patients, and then promoting new research. Uh, in 1990, Dr. Eugene Schoenfeld was diagnosed with kidney cancer, and at the time there wasn't a lot of good options and there wasn't a lot of information out there. And so he actually had a challenge from his doctor, well, do something about it. Dr. Schoenfeld decided to start the Kidney Cancer Association as a way to start getting information out there, as a way to help other patients, and then you know, to, to promote new, new treatments and new cures for, for kidney cancer. Years later, we have a much better situation. There's, as, you know, as we were just discussing, there's new treatments. There's a lot of therapies out there that were not around at the beginning of the Kidney Cancer Association. There's targeted therapies, there's new clinical trials, but there's also plenty of room for us to go. The Kidney Cancer Association is, it's not, it's an international organization and it's really comprised of everybody. It's the patients, the families, the survivors, the caregivers, the nurses, doctors, and it's a group that transcends international borders. The mission is clear, reduce suffering, mortality, and incidence of kidney cancer globally through collaborative education, research, and patient advocacy. To that end, there's two main pillars of activities that the Kidney Cancer Association conducts in order to achieve these goals. First of all, from a patient perspective, it's to get out information. There's 100 supporting conferences and, and meetings on a regional and local basis, including four larger ones like this on an, every year. In addition, the Kidney Cancer has a comprehensive set of resources on its website that I'd encourage you to check out. KidneyCancer.org is the domain. Additionally, you can find Kidney Cancer Association on Facebook, on Twitter, and on num a number of social media outlets. On the, on the KidneyCancer.org website, there is a, a wealth of resources, including literature, videos of conferences like this, and probably this conference later, um, information sheets on drugs, uh, the option to have live chats with nurses you know, 24 hours a day. And so there's constantly resources available if you have any questions on the Kidney Cancer website. In addition, the, we have kidney cancer literature that, they have, that, that we have updated and, and kept going is, is something that is, is, you can download, you can purchase, you can have it shipped to you. There's a number of different ways to get this literature. We actually have several copies outside as well. Uh, this is something that's reviewed every year through the nurse practitioners group that we're involved with and is, is constantly kept up to date. So again, I really, I really would encourage you to go, if you haven't already, spend some time on the kidneycancer.org website. In addition to the patient patient education, the Cancer Association is very involved in research and promoting new research. Every year there are a number of grants that are given to young investigators who are, who are beginning their careers in order to help them fund their research and start their commitment to kidney cancer as young, young inve principal investigators. In addition, there's a number of symposiums, both local and international. There's generally one in Chicago, there have been in Dublin, and Singapore, and other locales around the world. These symposiums offer a really important opportunity for researchers and doctors to get together. This is where doctors are educated on new treatments and there's, there's a lot of discussion on, on what the, the, the current trends are and, and, and the important places for them to change their, their, their practice. In addition, this is where papers are presented as new research and exciting developments are, are, um, are coming, to fruit, coming to bear fruit. And so this is another area where the Kidney Cancer Association really focus a lot of its effort and a lot of its resources to try to um, push forward the, the research for, uh, for this important, important disease. Uh, thank you very much and I uh, really appreciate you all coming today.